just continuing where we left off, we're going to start peeling off some more information now. Uh, right below this text, we're going to have a view and closing view like this. And we're going to have a style on this view, so we'll stay style. And I think we're yeah we're gonna we're gonna pop this one off and put it down inside the styles object. So we'll say styles dot view style. Great name I know. Uh, and then we could say view style here. And there's a couple things we want to put in here. The first is justify content, just so we that that any stuff that we're gonna put inside of here, which is actually just gonna be an image, um, should be centered up. So align items, justify content, just make sure it's centered up. And then we also want to make sure that we're taking up as much space as possible. So inside of this view tag, we're going to be using an image. So we're going to need to import image from React Native. Go ahead in here and just start typing out image. And we can just do all, all this in one line here. We don't really need to break this off. We'll say image source is equal to, um, and then self close this tag out. And we'll put a style, you know what? No, screw it, we're gonna break this up a little bit. <laughs> Make it a little bit cleaner. Um, and we can put a style prop in here. This style prop is going to have another piece of that object, that styles object called IMG for image. And we will put a few things in here. Uh, first, we want this image to be about 200 pixels in height, about 200 pixels in width, so it's a nice boxed image. Um, it's not gonna distort the image at all. Um, and it should fit pretty nicely on screen. It'll go like right here. Um, height with justify content again, just to ensure it. Uh, probably one of these align items or justify contents is unnecessary, but I really like to use these and just kind of box it all in and, and just make sure it's all centered up anyways. Um, inside the source here, um, what we're gonna be doing is using that URI uh, tag and put in Pokemon dot, and this is coming from our Pokemon object. So any data that's coming through, we're using that Pokemon object for. Now we, we had ID and we had name. Um, believe it or not, the data that comes back has a link to uh, some Pokemon sprites. So we're actually gonna be able to put the Pokemon you know, Charmander on screen here. So Pokemon dot sprites dot front underscore default like this. And if I save this and run it, <coughs> let's go ahead and look up a different Pokemon now. Let's look up, uh, I think 250 is either ho -Oh or Lugia or something. If I hit the search right there, it's going to be looking for it. And it didn't work. Reference cannot find variable view. Ah, right. So we almost forgot. Um, we did use some view tags here, so we have to import that in right next to the view. That's my mistake. This time, if we look up 250, and we hit search, there's Ho-Oh in all of this Pokemon's great glory. This might be my favorite Pokemon right here. Um, kind of sad that I didn't know that it was, it was 250, but um, really like this Pokemon. So now we have, you know, the, the number, the name, and then also a display of that Pokemon on screen. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool so far. Um, this this is going to be like the coolest app we've, we've developed, obviously, so far. Uh, I don't think the to-do app is going to top this <laughs> once once we're done with this. Um, the next thing we want to do is add an, another view tag. And this is going to be taking up a lot more space here. So view. And then on here we can add in our little style. And we're going to call this styles.info. So what we're going to have after the image is basically just a bunch of information about the Pokemon. So we'll say info down here. And we're going to want to give this a flex of one, of course. A background color of white. Now you're probably saying, why would we have a background color of white? I mean, like the background already is white. Well, we're eventually going to have a picture back here, so we want to make sure that the data stands out. And then we can also give this an, an opacity, um, which won't make much sense right now, but it will soon, of 0 0.8. So that way we'll be able to see a little bit through that white. Now it won't make a difference yet. <clears throat> I just saved it. And we're not even going to check it because there's nothing in there right now. Um, but we can go ahead and start adding some things into this view. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what we're going to want to use right now is something uh, called list item, which is actually going to be coming from native base. So we need to import that in from native base. So we'll say import. And we want to get list item. And we also want to get list. 
And what these are basically doing are they're, they're helpful uh, list components that just help you like kind of render out some information to the screen in like a nice, neat, orderly fashion. So instead of having just like, you know, jumbled up text down here, that's like a bunch of stats, it's going to be like, make it look like it's kind of, you know, set up a, as a table. Okay. So we want to import these things from native base, just like that. And I think that's actually all the importing we'll be doing on this component. Uh, this video is probably getting a little bit long, but let's stick with it. Um, so there's a few things we're going to put it, want to put in here. The first is we'll add in a list item. And this is going to be opening and closing, just like this. And then inside the list item, this is going to take an, a prop called item divider. Uh, just take my word for it. This is a prop on list item. Um, again, we didn't develop this prop. This is something that's built into this particular component. Now in here, we're going to play some text. Text, capital T, of course. And inside this text, we're going to do a couple things. First, we want to list the size. So this is going to be the size of the Pokemon. And we want to put a couple things in here. We'll, we'll give it a style of font weight with bold. So this is just going to be like bolded out, you know, sort of like we're head, like kind of like we're heading this up, you know. We're saying like this is going to be like the 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 the, the section for where we place some side. Uh, size stuff in there. We're going to want to put another list item. We can actually just copy and paste this in a couple times here. And then this one is going to uh, have the weight in it. So we'll say weight dash and then we're just going to get that Pokemon weight. So that weight variable is right on that Pokemon object. We're going to want to get rid of the style here on this text too since we don't really want that part bolded. We don't want the weight part bolded. Or in the case of height, we don't want that bolded either. So we'll take that out as soon as we say Pokemon height here. And we can just get rid of this style object. So let's just take a look here. Um, we'll look up a different Pokemon this time. Let's try, I don't know, who is 136? Let's find out. Flareon, good Pokemon to have. So as you can see, this is looking a little bit nicer. We got obviously the, the top stuff here that we already configured, but now we got like a nice little setup where it says size and it's kind of darkened in. Um, and then we got the weight of Flareon and then the height of Flareon. Now there's no units. We could add some units in like kilograms or something. I'm guessing that's probably what it is. So we can actually do that for um, the, the height here. We'll say, you know, kilograms like that, or actually I think it's lowercase, right? Kilograms. And then this would be cent centimeters, nine centimeters, no, probably not centimeters. Would it be, no, nine, nine, nine decimeter, de decimeters? I'm not sure. Let's just say inches. Let's let's get really crazy. We'll have uh, imperial and then metric down here or up here. So we'll, we'll do that um, just to make it kind of silly. Uh, all right, so that's all, all for this video. This is running long. We'll start putting in the rest of the stuff in the uh, next video.